continue our study in exposing heresy. This is the false belief of falling from grace. The false doctrine that is preached comes from Galatians chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you, that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. Now the word fallen in the lesson means failed. Not fallen from grace so much as failed by grace. If you go back to the Greek, you can actually translate the scripture as follows. You are severed from Christ. Whoever in the law are being justified, the grace has become inefficient. That's the literal meaning of the original Greek. The Jews who sought justification by circumcision and other legal observances missed grace. The law was never intended to be a savior. Its purpose was to convict. It teached the need of a savior. Galatians 3, 24, 25 reads, The law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Who are fallen from grace, that is, failed of grace? Whosoever of you are justified by law are fallen from grace, that is, they're failed of grace. But are any justified by the law? Galatians 3.11 reads, But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God it is evident for the just shall live by faith. That settles it. Certainly no Christian has ever been justified by the law. And since nobody has fallen from grace or failed by grace except those who are justified by the law, it falls irresistibly that no Christian has fallen from grace or has failed by grace. So if someone asks you, who are the fallen from grace? Galatians 5 and 4. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. So anyone justified by the law? So who are justified by the law? Galatians 3.11, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. Can a Christian ever depart from God? Jeremiah chapter 32, beginning of verse 39, and I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and for their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. Who bears the Christian sins? Again, it's not us. Second Corinthians 5.19 To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors of Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead be ye reconciled to God, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Since Jesus says our sins counted against him, will God also count our sins against us? Romans chapter 4 beginning of verse 7 saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Will the fact that our sins are counted against Christ and not counted against us be any inducement for a Christian to plunge into sin? 1 John 3 and 3, And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. In conclusion, we can't keep the law. Part of that is tithing. How many people continue with that? Part of it is blood sacrifices. Probably about the same amount or slightly fewer keep up with the blood sacrifices. Luckily, grace fulfills the law. The law convicts of sin. Grace abolishes sin.